Look at this. For a second, it might seem like the handiwork of Google or OpenAI, but no, what you're seeing is not real, and you might be wondering who the creator is. But the truth is beyond your imagination. This is the work of that secret weapon that no one has counted in the AI race so far, and it has silently left everyone behind. Now listen carefully, because this is the point where your benefit begins. This tool is not free for everyone, but after digging for many days, I found a loophole, a backdoor, which is still working. And if you follow exactly the same steps as I'll tell you, then the whole system will open up for you, completely free, unlimited. So forget all those expensive plans and credits. Today, I'm not just going to show you an AI tool. I'm going to show you its secret door. Ready? Let's begin. This tool is called Old Sea Dance, and it's made by ByDance, the same company that runs TikTok. When the whole world was going crazy over Google's new V3 model, these people were quietly building a model that would surpass them all. It's clean, smooth, and its movement looks so real, it feels like a human. All other tools, they look fake in comparison. For the free method I'm going to show in this my banai, you just need to download any VPN. And if you live outside America, then you need to connect that VPN to the USA. After that, you'll get the link of Dreamina in the description. Click there, and you'll land here. And I'll show you ahead how to create a free, unlimited account. But before that, click on Try Now here. After clicking, tick the box and click on Sign In. Here, you have to select the Continue with Email option, because that's the best option. Now here, we need to enter a temp mail, but there are a lot of issues with temp mail, as you all might know. So for that, you can watch this video where I've explained all the solutions, and I've also shown how you can generate more than 12,000 temp mails by yourself. Apart from that, I I've already generated many temp mails as per my need, so I'll just copy one of those temp mails and paste it here. Then select any password below and click on continue. Enter your date of birth and click next. Here below you can see we've got 120 credits, and these credits are given to us daily, which means you can create three videos every day from one account. And just like I taught you how to create an account, in the same way, you can create unlimited accounts using temp mail. But for now, for a few months, you don't need to create unlimited temp mails or unlimited accounts, because now we will see a method by which you can use this tool with unlimited time from a single account, where you will never face a credit limit. Here, we will click and sign out. Now, for that, you need to download this VPN, whose link I'll give you in the description. Connect it, and just like I told you the process of creating an account earlier, you have to create an account again in the same way. Sometimes, an error comes while creating an account, so you can also use TempMail to avoid the error. For that, you need to go to the TempMail website, and from there, copy this Gmail. After copying, paste it here, thumb out, and put a password, and click Next. Then go back to the TempMail website, and after scrolling a bit, you'll see a verification code here. Copy it, and paste it there. Now your free and unlimited account is ready. You can see below that zero credits are showing here. Now you have to do one more thing, Turn off the Nigeria VPN and connect to the USA VPN. Or, if you're living in the USA, then don't connect to any VPN. And now, refresh this page once. Now your unlimited video generation account is ready, where you can create as many videos as you want. I have some prompts which I'll generate in VO2, and the same prompts I'll generate in this. Then we'll see which tool generates the best quality video. So, to generate a video from Seedance, we will paste the prompt here. From here, we can select the ratio whether it's for a YouTube short or a long video. From here, we can see what we want to generate, like AI avatar, AI image, and AI video. We'll select video here. We can also generate images from here. After selecting this, we will click here to start the video generation. And if you also want to know about VO3 and generate videos from it, then you can watch this video of mine where I've explained everything in full detail. So now our very first prompt is, Two medieval warriors engage in a fierce sword battle on a stormy battlefield. Rain pouring, thunder strikes, slow motion clashes, dramatic camera angles, cinematic lighting. I entered the same prompt in VEO2 and C Dance, and the result is something like this, where the video has a simple background. It looks like there's a curtain behind, and the fight is happening in front of it. And the characters don't have much movement, whereas in C Dance, the background is quite dangerous, with thunder striking and the characters are also fighting very well. Now, the second prompt, in which I said, high-speed motorcycle race through a futuristic neon-lit city at night, glowing light trails, sharp turns, flying sparks, dynamic tracking shots, intense cyberpunk vibe. In this, VEO gave a very good result. 
where the camera is also following them nicely and the lighting is very good. But Sea Dance kept the visuals quite nice, but didn't place any character on the bike because we didn't mention any character in the prompt. But it also didn't follow the bike properly. Now, our next prompt, in which I mentioned various wild animals like bears, wolves, and deer roaming through misty pine forests in the mountains at sunrise, cinematic nature shots, serene atmosphere, flying birds. So, this prompt gave a very good result for VEO, where it carefully considered the camera angles and showed the animals mentioned in the prompt. But in Sea Dance, neither the bear nor the deer is visible, and it's unclear what animals are shown, and even the flight of the birds doesn't look correct. Now let's take the next prompt. Massive space fleets engaged in a sci-fi battle, laser beams, explosions in zero gravity, stars and nebulae in the background, futuristic ship designs, high drama. For this prompt, both AI tools have done a great job, where in both videos missiles are being fired impressively and the visuals are also very good. Next prompt, a massive volcano erupts violently, lava flows down the mountain, thick smoke clouds, people fleeing, cinematic disaster visuals, intense lighting and dramatic tension. One thing is certain, the videos made with Sea Dance have very good lighting and not too much darkness, whereas the videos from VEO have a little darkness. For this prompt too, both tools generated very good videos. Now let's take the next prompt. An explorer discovers a hidden ancient temple deep in the jungle, moss-covered statues, dim sunlight through trees, mysterious ruins, cinematic adventure vibe. For this prompt also, both AI tools worked really well, but I liked Sea Dance better because the character looks like a real explorer, whereas in VEO, the character was dressed in torn clothes, which is a mistake. Everything else is fine. Next prompt, energetic dance party. Inside a vibrant nightclub, flashing lights, laser beams, people dancing, DJ performing on stage, loud music atmosphere, fast camera movements. In the video generated from this prompt, both tools have their own specialties. In the video generated from Sea Dance, the characters don't have much movement, but all the characters are clearly visible, and the lighting is really good. Whereas in VEO, the lighting isn't that great, but the characters dancing is very good. Next prompt. High-speed car chase through a vast desert landscape, vehicles drifting on sand, dust clouds, intense action shots, dynamic angles, cinematic adrenaline rush. So with this prompt, both tools are generating very good videos, but here, Sea Dance performs slightly better. Its camera movement and the cars look quite luxurious, while in VEO, the cars are a bit normal, and in trying to show a large field, the camera movement wasn't that great. If you need any knowledge about temp mail, then you can watch this video. And if you have any issues with VEO3, then you can watch this video. I'll meet you there. Bye.